This is how I reload dummy shotgun shells to use when I'm practicing reloading the shotgun quickly. I choose cases that have a different color than the loaded ammunition I shoot to help an identification of the dummy rounds. I'm going to use my Ponness Warren Model 375 shotgun press. Resize, D-prime. Then to take up space in the shotgun shell that's normally filled with powder, I'm going to use 22 of these 20 gauge card wads that I punched from soda pop boxes but you could purchase wads from ballistic products. I need to make sure they lie in there flat. Even if I have to push them into place with a pen or pencil. Then I use a Remington SP-12 wad. And I put on that one and one eighth ounce of shot. I put a card wad on top of the shot to make sure that even if I have a bad crimp, no shot leaks out of the shell. Pre-crimp, final crimp, and there's my dummy shotgun shell. No powder and no wad, and in color that's not the usual for my loaded ammunition. The safety is on. I'm using dummy cartridges, no primer. I have an easy loader on this shotgun. The reason is that I first drop a cartridge through the ejection port and then as I push the first round into the magazine tube, I touch the easy loader with the shotgun shell and that closes the action. So I don't have to do any manipulation of the controls, press any button or anything, pull the operating handle back, to get the action closed and get the shotgun ready to fire. Now I will demonstrate reloading the shotgun quickly using my dummy cartridges. And with more practice, I could get better.